Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking about to be down here, Michael, on this Tuesday afternoon, fixing to head out for my afternoon bus route. But I just got a delivery, and uh, those of you that follow my channel, you know that I also like to include some things that I do on the side, other than just lift weights and some food and stuff like that. Uh, I collect uh, some action figures, and not just any action figures. I collect Masters of the Universe action figures. And uh, the Masterverse line, uh, the show that's on Netflix, the Revelation Revolution, uh, all that that uh, whole story, uh, and all its characters, and plus they have side, uh, like side sidelines and different timelines, whatever you say, uh, different iteration, iteration, but different versions. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Different versions of all these characters from different timelines and different stories and stuff. So anyway. Long story longer, uh, I got the latest Wave in, and I'm ready to open it up. So there's a couple in here that I've that I was really excited about. So let's open up this here box and uh, get this going because I only got a couple minutes here. So I order 99.9999% of my stuff from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, they have good products, decent prices for what it is, I guess. So, uh, the thing about me is I am a box collector. That means that I like for my boxes to be in pretty pristine shape. You know, as good as I can get them and all the stuff nicely in the clamshell and not all loose and going everywhere. So, I always kind of hope, you know, for the best. Expect the worst, hope for the best, something like that. So, big bad toy store. I'm not uh, affiliated with them or anything, but they do have all my figures that I collect. So, so let's go ahead and start things off with a banger. They're both on top, so let's go ahead and start it. This figure here is, uh, depending on what timeline you look at, this is... Skeletor before he becomes Skeletor. Michael, please tell me more. This here is Keldor. Technically, in some sideline and some of the stories, uh, he's uh, King Randor's brother. So we got all the box art. Oop, there's the wave down there that I got. Don't look, it's a spoiler. So some nice box art here. These are newer boxes. And I'm not crazy about them because you don't get to see as much of the figure as the other boxes. Uh, but still, it's nice. So let me take a look. Yep, box is in good shape. So we have Keldor. He's pretty awesome. Never had him in any other toy line that I ever had as a kid. And uh, I don't think they even had him when I was a kid in the 80s. So... So let's go ahead and do, well, let's do, let's not do that one yet. Let's do New Eternia Triclops. Now I already have another Triclops. He's not New Eternia. He's a revelation uh, from the TV show. But like I said, they do different lines. This is New Eternia. A lot of these are based on like uh, old artwork or stuff like that. Different, you know, timelines and different things of the sort so they you know look a little different and uh, I don't like having to collect them all but at the same time I'm trying to collect all these in this Masterverse line so I gotta get characters that I've already got just because they look a little different so we have Triclops and uh, he's pretty cool like I said I've already got one version of him and uh, but this is another version and uh, so on we go. And the box looks to be good. I didn't see or feel anything crazy whilst I was looking. Okay. So we got Triclops there. Let's put this one aside. And this one here is Revolution Battle Armor He-Man. And they've already released a Battle Armor He-Man which I like just as well as this one, if not better. 
Uh, he actually has a beard in the other one. Now, what I don't like about some of these figures is in the 80s, the original toy line, his battle armor actually moved. You would, you could do it with your thumb and rotate it, and it was no battle damage. Then you'd hit it once, and it would flip, and there was like one little battle damage. And you hit it again, and it'd flip again. There was two like gouges, like it'd been damaged. And then you roll it back, and it was, you know, not damaged. So there was, there was mobility to the characters back then. And uh, but these new characters don't have that. They have little plates that you can put on and put off that are damaged and not damaged. But uh, <coughs> still a good looking character. Uh, again, he is from the uh, this new season of Revolution. Not Revelation, but Revolution. And uh, so yeah, good looking figure. Box appears to be in good shape. No rips, no tears. Tape looks good. Sometimes the tape is a little wonky. All right, here's one of the good. Here's one of the good ones I've been waiting on right here, along with Keldor. But this in here reminds me of my childhood because I had the original uh, when I was a kid. We have Mecha Neck. Now this Mecha Neck is pretty cool. He does come with neck uh, extensions and stuff. But again, just like Battle Armor He Man. The original 1980s Mecha Neck, you could twist his waist and his neck would kind of pop up and down like so. Now it would only go up about a quarter inch or so. Nothing crazy. But it was still articulated. It still moved. You know, there was still motion and mechanics to it, which made it pretty cool. Again, I like that kind of stuff. But this here, he does come with his, his bat kind of uh, weapon. Plus it, it doubles as a... Uh, telescope of sorts, I piece thing I'm doing. You can extend it and do other different things with it, and uh, so he's pretty cool. And I'm glad to have him. He's one of them that I was really looking forward to. And uh, of course, I don't get to play with him like I did when I was a kid. Uh, being a box collector, I don't open them. So I know that sounds like not a lot of fun to some people, but just collecting these after all these years. Uh, is fun enough for me and I have a whole bunch of them that I got put away and I just I have to get my shelving and all that stuff bought and put up and uh, eventually I'll do that but uh yeah we got Mechanex so he's pretty cool the box looks good everything looks good and in order yeah looks good so all right pretty happy with that and I just wanted to share this like I do all my other ones you can go back and look and find those it's probably in my random playlist something like that and uh, you can go back and look at a lot of the ones that I've gotten. And uh, yeah, so I look forward to the next wave, which should come out in another couple of months. And uh, we already kind of have a spoiler as to the characters that are supposedly going to be in that wave. And there's some pretty cool ones in that one as well. So I look forward to that. And the many more that we get and the special releases, the deluxe releases and all that kind of different stuff that uh, we get to enjoy. So... Anyway, guys, if you collect anything like this, uh, let me know in the comments. If you are a He-Man fan, let me know in the comments. And uh, obviously I am. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Go check out all my other videos. I got all kind of workout videos mostly on this channel. So I'm going to get out of here. I got to go run my bus route, guys. Everybody have a good day. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. Your Masters of the Universe host. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. <laughs>